ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever episode of the CSGO eShow. I'm your host, Frush, and today we're going to be diving into some competitive basics. But first, here's your play of the day. That shot was by Dat Panda Bear from Team High Velocity. You can check out his YouTube channel in the description below. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're going over our basics of competitive Counter-Strike. Uh, by no means are these the most basic things to remember when playing, they're just our top four tips. Uh, I'll go over the top four tips with some gameplay examples, and then we'll kind of put it all together with our friend Blitz for Counter-Terrorist and Terrorist teams. So the first tip that we're talking about today is crosshair placement. Uh, the concept of keeping your crosshair up and in the correct place when you're turning corners. Now the scenario where we have for you today is a terrorist coming down long A and checking all of his spots um, before he just runs out the door. Now there's going to be a lot of situations, you'll see a lot of people just running around and running around those corners. It all depends on the urgency of the situation. If you need to run, sometimes you're going to really quickly check those. If you have time and you're just looking for an easy pick, uh, then you can do it slowly and you can do uh, quick peeks like he's doing right now. Something I constantly see with new players is where they're letting their crosshair drop down and then when someone comes around that corner they have to bring it back up and start shooting them. It puts you at a huge disadvantage if you have to bring your crosshair back up. Um, just having it in the correct place where you either need to flick your mouse a little bit or you don't need to move your mouse at all and you can just start shooting. Um, you have an advantage over that person. Now as you're watching our tips, you should really be asking yourself if these apply to you. Are these habits that you need to break? Now, it may be enough for you just to watch this gameplay and say, yes, I'm doing this, or no, I'm not doing this, it doesn't apply to me. But really, it's all about the gameplay. So the next time that you're playing, coming around those double doors at long, really be aware of where your crosshair is and what you're looking at. That's the best way to fix this bad habit. I cannot stress enough the importance of keeping that crosshair up. So the second tip that we're going to be going over today is burst fire and controlled spray. Now I'm going to show you a couple of examples of uncontrolled spray from the AK-47. It's going to be the only gun we're going to go over today. And then I'm going to show you in slow motion where each bullet goes on an AK spray uncontrolled. Now there are three aspects to this game that make it unique. You have the gun recoil, you have the monetary system, and you have the respawn after each round. And the most important aspect to understand and learn is the gun recoil. Uh, each gun has its own recoil, whether it's crouching, or running, or walking, or standing still, um, but it's important to learn the recoil patterns of each gun. Obviously, a more effective way to shoot, instead of spraying and trying to control it, is to just burst fire. Now I'm doing two shots per burst here. The AK-47 is powerful enough to kill someone with one shot, so you can just do single bursts. Obviously, you have to work on your accuracy and make sure that you're good enough to shoot single shot bursts. Now, I'm going to show you some examples here of controlled recoil. Um, this was only after a couple of minutes of me actually sitting down for the first time trying to learn the recoil pattern. Now our third tip for you today is peeking corners properly. What I'm trying to display to you in this clip right now is how much the opera can see you before you can see that opera. Now right about here is how much the opera can see of you before you can actually see them. So if you're coming around that corner walking, he has a huge advantage because he can see you and react before you can see him. And this is doing it while crouching, obviously slower than walking. Uh, your best option is to peek him to make him react and shoot. And then before he can cock and shoot again, popping out and shooting him. Now obviously there are several ways to peek a corner. Sometimes you can just jump across, but your best bet is to flash and then go in. Our fourth tip for you today is reloading at the proper time. There are a lot of players with bad habits who reload after each kill or even after a couple of shots just because they don't think anyone's coming. In this game, you really can't be too prepared. Now in this scenario, he's going to get the headshot on the first player, but then decide to reload right out in the open. 
Now, a better option than that would be to cover when you're reloading. Even in this scenario, the player made the right decision to cover while he was reloading. He really didn't need to reload at all. You should really know how many bullets you have in your gun, and it was really just based on bad habit that he reloaded in the first place. Really, your best option is to not reload at all. You have 30 bullets in that gun, specifically, and once you get that headshot with the first three bullets, there's really no need for you to reload. Now, in this scenario, I'm a counter-terrorist, and Blitz is a terrorist planting in B. I'm running up to defuse it. I know he's the only one left, so I'm not necessarily going to be checking my corners on my left and right side. Uh, I am going to try to peek him to make him get that shot off, and get a few shots off on him. Um, I do flash in, but I make the mistake of reloading in this scenario. What you should really be doing is flashing and immediately going in. And in the end, that ends up getting me killed. Blitz is going to put this all together for us. He should be checking all of his corners. He should be keeping his crosshair up and in the right place, using burst fire. And in this scenario, he's going to use a fake defuse to draw that terrorist out on A platform. Blitz does the right thing by smoking cross here, just in case there is an opera. And it's not necessarily a bad thing to be spamming or pre-firing in certain situations, especially if you're not trying to be stealthy and you're just trying to get there as fast as possible. Alright guys, that's going to do it for our first episode. We hope that you like it. Feel free to give us some constructive feedback on the episode. Go ahead and comment, rate, subscribe, put it on Reddit if you'd like. Big shout out to the Go Show team for their assistance on this episode. Until next time, stay classy San Diego.